Hey everybody and welcome back to the Motor One US channel where today we're taking our first look at the Jeep Grand Wagoneer concept vehicle. And today with me is senior editor for MotorOne.com, Brett T. Evans. What's going on, Brett? Good morning. We have a Jeep, but kind of Jeep, Grand Wagoneer concept. So you and I have been debating about what this is actually going yeah. to be called. Give me your best interpretation of when this thing becomes production. What is it and what is it going to be called? So as you pointed out, the Grand Wagoneer doesn't say Jeep anywhere on the vehicle. The steering wheel badge, the grill badge, the fenders, nothing. There's no Jeep branding on this vehicle. And, you know, a little inside baseball, the press release that they sent out also just says Grand Wagoneer over and over again. It doesn't ever say Jeep Grand Wagoneer, but they do say that it's part of the Jeep brand. It's an upmarket extension of the Jeep brand. So, you know, there's some confusion. Like, is this going to be a sub model kind of the way Ford is going with Mustang? Or is this going to be its own uh, or is it going to be a, a actual Jeep product? So re remains to be seen. But uh, regardless, it's, it's definitely a pretty interesting concept for the brand. The only thing that this rather vague press release said is that it's going into production sometime next year and it's going to be built in Detroit. This is a large three row SUV that fits somewhere under the Jeep brand. And as you mentioned out, it's going to expand the Jeep portfolio because they're attacking the luxury SUV market and the large SUV market at the same time. Mm -hmm. And much like the Grand Wagoneers of yesteryear, this thing is all about in your face, opulent American luxury. And sure. before I go too far, I think it looks awesome. This yep. thing rules. But all you really need to know is like, this is Jeep's giant proclamation that, hey, we can do giant cars as well. And oh, by the way, we made this one really fancy, starting with the exterior styling, which is just in your face. What do you think? I like it. You know, I think it's a pretty attractive machine. Um, I'm a little concerned. I don't think it says Wagoneer to me at all. You know, I think uh, the in a vacuum, it looks Did great. Do you need wood paneling? What's the gripe? I don't even, no, I'm not even going to say that. I, my entire problem with it centers on the greenhouse. I think the original Grand Wagoneer had this upright, very proud, strong greenhouse, these narrow pillars, and it had like a very flat belt line from stem to stern. This one looks a little uh, raked, a little swoopy. It kind of has a chop top look. Um, I think it looks kind of like a mix between the Rivian R1T yeah. and the Hummer EV. Yeah. Or, or the R1S, R1 sorry. S. Yeah, that's yeah, the, the R1S and the Hummer EV. I think it kind of looks like a mix. Um, so it doesn't really scream Jeep to me. It didn't need the wood paneling, but it needed a little bit more pride, a little bit more upright, a little less modern, I think. Um, but it is a beautiful vehicle in a vacuum. That front grille is gorgeous. I really like the full width LED light bar that goes from headlight to headlight. Yeah, talk about in your face right there. Everything has to light up. The yeah. Rolls Royce Ghost we saw the other day, the grille lights up here. This one in the Grand Wagon here, the grill lights up as well. Yep. Everything is lighting up on the exterior of these cars now. Yep. Um, I see enough Jeep in the design to bring it close to home. And yet I think this is really representative of some of uh, Jeep's future design that we're going sure. to see, especially with future cars that are coming soon, like the yeah. next generation Grand Cherokee uh, and other similar vehicles. I love love the way it looks on the exterior yeah um and like you said there's just a lot of really interesting uh lighting details the um the chrome um you know the chrome accents on the lower grill opening are really attractive the rear end looks great it's again got a full width led light bar in back uh that looks like it's interrupted just by that little uh review camera, but it's just a really, really interestingly styled, detailed vehicle. In terms of powertrain, we don't know much. There is mention of plug-in hybrid technology. So we yes. can expect that this is going to have some sort of PHEV setup, maybe a full electric version somewhere down the line, but that's pure speculation. Yeah, I think a safe bet is, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this shares a lot of its structure and powertrain with the uh, Ram 1500. So I think you can probably pretty reasonably expect um, maybe a V6, base V6 with uh, e-torque mild hybrid, and then um, almost certainly that 5.7 liter V8 with e-torque. And then you could also probably probably plan on seeing a plug-in with the V8 that would probably give it, you know, um, aviator grand touring levels of power and torque. So it should be a pretty impressive impressive vehicle uh, from a powertrain standpoint. Um, like you said, there's just a ton of question marks, but um, one thing that's all but certain is that it will probably be electrified and um, it will be pretty good off-road, even, even in spite of its premium styling and, and luxury. 
that brings us to the interior of this vehicle, which mm -hmm. is actually the best part about it. I mean, Agreed. holy crap. Agreed. This is, this is better than anything Jeep has done in a very long time. Those of you that want your wood paneling, we got your wood paneling, but it is all <laughs> over the interior and yeah. stuff. Um, just a few notes on the interior. They're talking a big game with sustainable materials. It's made out of recycled materials. I actually don't think there's any leather going on on the seating surfaces at all. It's all made of this uh, synthetic material instead. Mm -hmm. But the overall design of this interior is just incredible. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I love the two-spoke steering wheel. That's kind of a fun retro callback. Um, you know, there's screens galore. There's there's two Holy touch screen, screens, Batman. Two touch screens for the driver, and then one touch screen in the dashboard in front of the passenger. Um, you know, no idea what specific functions those have, but there's definitely a lot of glitz and uh, and high technology in this machine. And you know, like you said, it's this American, this made in America craftsmanship that really shines through. There's a Grand Wagoneer etching on the um, on the fascia panel. Um, just in front of the passenger, um, just these absolutely gorgeous, you know, the aluminum trimmed vents and fabulous materials throughout. It really looks incredible. Seven screens in total in the interior. There were 45 inches of screens. You have a 12.3 inch cluster in front of the driver. The main 12.1 inch center display, which right below it is a 10 inch a uh, system where you can control your seating and your HVAC, things like that. You mentioned the 10.2 inch passenger display, and then those in the uh, second row have a center display for their HVAC as well, and then twin screens, which sort of work for entertainment purposes. It's just, yeah. everything is a screen now. Um, yep. I wonder if that passenger one in particular will make it to production. I think it will. I think you've seen similar elements in other cars. So I, I feel like this is a really interesting way for, for Jeep to kind of proudly proclaim that this is what this is what the future of luxury looks like and so i think you'll probably see it on the pr production vehicle do you think it's too gaudy overall yeah, no i don't question think so. matter anymore yeah i don't think so i might have agreed with you a few years ago but you know look at the aviator that's a fabulous interior and you could probably argue that's maybe a little bit gaudy um, but um, I think if they if they translate this concept over to production and if they nail the materials, I don't think it matters if it's gaudy or not. If it is if it's designed and built well, I think it'll be a pretty fabulous place to spend time. It looks like they're really swinging for the fences with this yeah. car. I'm I'm really excited to see how they evolve it. What more information is to come because this is just our initial taste of Wagoneer's return and this model, the Grand Wagoneer concept. Uh, but we look forward to hearing more in the future. Yep. Uh, until then, Brett Evans, thank you for joining me. Yeah, it's good to be here. And thank you, everybody, for checking out the Jeep Grand Wagoneer.